Hey guys, welcome back to RIP Superchargers and thanks for stopping by. So if you did stop by, you're probably looking for a little bit more power for your 2TR FE. Now it is in a 2021 Tacoma right behind me and it is strapped down on a dyno and we did test it. But what you're here for is looking at our new ignition line. So we've had and been building a very big ignition line, which is more powerful than stock. Now, uh, coil basically is a spark amplifier. What it does is it brings power to the spark plug, igniting the fuel, and that's how you get that rotation in the engine. So uh, a while back, we designed a coil for our 3.6 liter Mopar line, and that is thriving and doing very, very well. And then we expanded it out to other engines in the Mopar line, and a lot of the Toyota guys started asking us why we don't make a product for them. So we did. And we built it on the original chassis. This is actually a stock coil right out of this vehicle. This is the one we took out today. So uh, we added a little bit more energy and it was only 10% more powerful where we were getting 20% more out of, out of our others. So we went back to the drawing board and we redesigned the head and redesigned the boot and got 44% more energy out of, out of this product. Now we've been selling a lot for the V6 guys. We do older Tacoma 4, four liter, which is this, and then the newer one as well, and a bunch of cars because that engine's in nearly everything. And the four-cylinder guy started asking us why we're not making product for them. So we did. We packaged it properly for them, and we also packaged it properly for the eight-cylinder. And that's what you see here. This is basically our Toyota line, as broad as it gets, except there's no box for the four-cylinder right now. But that's another story. Um, the ignition coil as a whole is an amplifier. So essentially what we did was redesign the internal of the, the coil to carry more energy in that capacitive discharge, right? It's not like rocket science. Essentially what we're doing is we made a better amplifier. What that does is create more spark energy at the spark plug, therefore igniting more fuel or having a better burn in that combustion cycle and therefore making a little bit more power. Now, the 2TR in this engine is claimed uh, to have 161 horsepower and we did test it and this one made 111 at the wheels. That means it has roughly a 30% drivetrain loss, which is right because this one does have, well, it's four wheel drive, so it has a transfer case and then it has a dry, really long drive shaft and then a solid rear axle and drum brakes and all that is more load than let's say your front wheel drive Corolla that might have the same engine or whatever might have the same engine in this case, right? That would be a 15% drivetrain loss. In our four wheel drive cars and even in our Jeeps, we see that high of a drivetrain loss and we prove it over and over. So uh, we did test it and we did see 111 horsepower over and over, hot and cold. It had within one or two horsepower. That's basically what you're driving down the road. Now this vehicle, it's important to note, is otherwise stock. It is an automatic. It is a four wheel drive. It is running regular octane fuel. It is running a stock air box. It is running a stock exhaust. So there's no other modification, which is the way we like to test these. Uh, when we test them this way, we're able to see what the coil does on its own. Whether it does a lot or a little, it's still a gain. Now, some gains aren't exactly uh, you know, at peak horsepower. Some gains are mid-range and part throttle, and those are really important. When we make passes on the dyno, you ha it's important to understand that you can't capture the entire RPM band. See, when you're testing on a dyno, you're only testing what the, the, the tool is limited to test. When a factory manufacturer tests horsepower, specifically that 161, they had the engine out on its own on an engine dyno, and that's where they found the 161 horsepower. In our case, there's an engine around, right? The, I'm sorry, there's a car around the engine. So there's power steering and air conditioning, and that's load, and you know, naturally, there's the transmission, the torque converter, and everything behind it as well, and that's how you calculate that 30% drivetrain loss. I cover this a little bit more specifically because we constantly get the question, you know, my, my car has this much, it's supposed to be that much, why is it so little? The reality is that's real world horsepower and that's what we're showing here so when you're driving down the road you're driving about 111 horsepower now uh it's a same day test so it didn't stay here overnight we basically got the vehicle in the morning we did our video shoot and then actually we tested what the the, the item does and we changed nothing else but the uh the coil we didn't change the plugs we didn't gap them differently literally just the coil and we found just about six horsepower at the rear wheel now, we saw a little bit more and we saw a little bit less, and that's basing on heat cycle, but we settled on a number that made sense to us, which is just about 117, so we gained five, six horsepower right at the rear wheel. Uh, but that's not the most important thing. When you look at the dyno uh, sheet itself, right, you'll see that there's a lot more power in the beginning of the pass. 
all right, you'll, you'll, you're able to see that there you're gaining, you know, 10 horsepower, 15 horsepower. That's really where you're driving the car more. You're not really always driving what maximum horsepower is. The torque is fatter as well, and that's really important. So your tip-ins are going to be really important. When you have 44% more energy at the spark plug, when you're tipping in going up a hill at 3,000 RPMs, you're really going to feel that, and that's where we feel it. Now, there's tons of data and reviews on our website, which I urge you to go check. And you could see our six cylinder guys are praising it, our Hemi guys are praising it, our V6 guys are praising it. There's all sorts of reviews there that you should probably read before you make this decision. But you know, this is a pretty honest product. It's pretty clear to see that it's just a bigger amplifier. It is gonna bring more spark to the spark plug and therefore a little bit more power to the rear wheel. So we urge you to go check out those, uh, those uh, reviews on our website, www.ripmods.com. We're on all the social medias, Facebooks and Instagrams and stuff, so you can hit us up there or just give us a call. Thanks for stopping by.